and welcome back to another video. Today we're back with another match preview. This time it's Swansea City versus Stoke City in the Sky Bet Championship. Uh, this Wednesday night, 8pm kickoff at the Swansea.com Stadium. Uh, yeah, again, another tough game. I know Stoke are down in a similar position to us. We're off the back of a very poor defeat to uh, Middlesbrough away, which me and Luke both went to. Uh, you know, what a waste of our times that was, to be honest with you. Um, you know, up at half four, back at midnight. So, you know, pretty much nearly 24 hours. Um, it took us to get there and back. Um, but yeah, an awful performance, absolutely abysmal. Uh, abysmal. Um, yeah, an, an absolute waste of time, to be honest with you. Um, but, you know, you could see how angry Luke Williams was in his uh, post-match interview. So, uh, you know, hopefully he has a word with the players now and uh, they can put it right on Wednesday. But what's your thoughts going into this game? Um, well, to be fair, every game in the Championship is going to be tough. Um... Obviously, we haven't won in the last three games. The last win was obviously at Cardiff at home. Um, and that, that, that feels like a while ago now, to be honest. The game was a good three weeks ago. Um, but yeah, Stoke, you know, they're not a great side, but, you know, neither of the Swans, to be honest with you. Obviously, Stoke managed to get a good point against West Brom in the last game. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm, not exactly that, that com I'm not exactly that confident right now. Due to our last three games, obviously, drawing to Chef Wednesday. Losing to QPR and losing to Borough. See, so, you know, I just don't really have any hope anymore, to be honest, man. I don't think any, any of our fans can really uh, blame me for that, but yeah, it's, not, it's just not looking great for us at the moment. Yeah, and then um, as for the injury news, then, so uh, Luke will give you the Swans injury news to start with. Yeah, for the Swans, we've got quite a few players out. We've got six players out injured. Um, we've got Josh Tyman, who obviously got injured um, against Borough on the weekend. And then we've got uh, Prem Schlepp, Keta, Joe Allen. Ricola Kovarevich, uh, Harrison Ashby and Josh Dinerby. Yeah, as for Stoke, they got four out. they got Ryan Mamai, I believe that's how you pronounce it, with a hamstring injury. Lyndon Gooch with a muscle injury. You've got Ben Pearson with a muscle injury as well. And then Junior Chamadu with an ankle injury. Um, but yeah, as for key players, so if there's any Stoke fans watching this, I think these are the Swans players you need to look out for. Uh, number one, I'll probably go with Carl Rushworth. He didn't have his best game um, against Middlesbrough, admittedly, but you know he's been great all season. Secondly, I'll probably go with Ronald. Again, he's been a bit underwhelming in recent games, but you know since we signed him, he's been very good. Um, and thirdly, um, I'll probably just leave it at them too, to be honest, but would you add anybody else? Um, no, no, I think I have to agree with you. I think due to our current form, I think those two are probably the standouts at the moment. I don't think we can, we can really fit anyone else, anyone else into that category. So, uh, yeah, I'll definitely agree with uh, what you've said. Yeah, and then as for Stoke then, number one, I'm going to go with Luke Cundall. Um, was on loan at us last season and was at, on loan at Plymouth for the first half of this season. Very good player. Secondly, I'm going to go with Keanu Hoover, the youngster. Um, I believe he's permanent from Liverpool. He might be on loan. I'm not 100% certain about that. I know he had a spell at Wolves as well, I believe. Uh, very good player, but would you add anybody else? Uh, yeah, I'll add three players. Um, I, am, I am mates with a few Stoke fans. Um, I think they'd agree with me on these three players. First one I'll go for is um, Andre Vidigal. Apparently, he hasn't been great recently for them, but apparently he had a very good start to the season. Um, and apparently he's been a decent player for them, so I'll go for him. I'll also go for Tyrese Campbell. You know, he has been a decent striker for them over the last few years. I know Stoke haven't been particularly great, and neither have we, to be honest. But, you know, I would say he's probably one of their standout players. Always tends to have a good game against us anyway. Um, and I'll also go for Lewis Baker. You know, he's been at Stoke for quite a while now, and I feel like he's been good for them. Over these last few seasons, so I'll add those three players. Yeah, now the team lineup. This is what I want to see. I don't think Luke Williams will go with this, but this is this is really what I want to see. Uh, so in goals, Carl Rushworth. Uh, right back, I want to go with uh, Josh Key. Left back, I'm going to go with Josh Tymon if he's oh he's not fit though he's injured. Um, it's already been confirmed. Uh, left back. Struggle for options, and you're probably going to have to go with uh, Azim Abdullah. Um, two centre backs, uh, Nathan Wood, and I'll go with Harry Darling. Three in midfield, Matt Grimes, Ollie Cooper, and Jamie Patterson. Three up front, um, I want to go with Imar Gavea, Ronald, and Liam Cullen. But what about you? Um, I, th I think the only changes I'd make to your team is. No, I think I'd actually uh, give um, Ivor, Ivor Guevara a go at left back. I think we should try and... Like, obviously, yeah, he's more of a winger, wing back type player, but I think he could potentially do a bit of a job at, as a left back. So I would like to see him try in that position. 
Uh, and, and then in midfield, they'd probably go for Charlie Patino instead of Arnie Cooper, because I feel like Patino's been... You know, I think he's been unfortunate not to start a game, to be honest, because I don't see what Luke Williams sees in Jay Fulton anymore, I really don't. And, you know, I do feel sorry for Charlie Patino, to be honest, because we know he's got the ability, and I suppose he hasn't really shown it in this one to show that much, but, you know, overall, he's a better player than Jay Fulton, there's no doubt about that, so... Yeah, I'll agree with your lineup, but I'll add um, Ivor Gavea at left back and then Patino in midfield instead of Cooper. Yeah, and then finally the score prediction. Uh, I'm going to go with a one all draw, to be honest. Luke can score, X1's always going to happen, and then for the Swans, I'll go with Ronald. But what about you? Um, well, yeah, I, I know you don't like me being negative all the time, but I'm going to go for a 2 1 Stoke. You know, Stoke are our bogey team, we never seem to beat them. I can't remember the last time we did beat them, to be honest with you. So I'll go for a 2 1 Stoke win. Um, I think scores for them. I'll go for. I'll go for Tyrese Campbell and I'll go for Andre Vidigal, and then for us, I'll have to go for. I'll go for Ronald. Yeah. Once again, obviously, a massive thanks for watching this. We will be back tomorrow uh, with a match day vlog, uh, so stay tuned for that. And thanks for watching. Yeah. Cheers.